Welcome to Date with Danu, right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today on the show, I have two fellow Petroites. Uh, but beyond that, they have achieved some amazing things for their creativity and the way they think, such a unique style that they have. I'm happy to have uh, the well-known duo, Eric and Charit. Hi, I'm Charit De Silva. I'm the co-founder of Mike. Um, I've been in the advertising and the creative industry for the last 15, over 15 years. And I'm here to go on a date with Danu. Hi, my name's Eric Vijayaratna. Uh, I am a marketeer by profession, a fun-loving, bubbly person. And I am here to go on a date with Danu. So love this show. Uh, we've all been watching it and really excited to be here today. Thank you, Danu, for having us. Danu and myself go back way back in time in school. I know him from college. Uh, we met at the choir, we met in the choir rather. Uh, not that I can sing, but Danu can definitely sing. Um, and about the show, I've been watching the show and looking forward to it, and I'm very, very excited to be on the show. So here they are, the founders of Mike. Now, if you don't know what Mike is all about, Mike is a place where they give you interesting concepts to make your wedding or any event uh, quite fashionable and sexy. Correct? Correct. Yes. But this name Mike was not thought of like yesterday today. It was from the days when you all were in school uniform. Correct. Yeah, Correct. I think it was when we were in year 10. Yeah, yeah. We, all of us came up with different names in case we ever start a, a job, job, like a, uh, job like, a, of your own. like a business. business right. uh, so when we decided to come up with it, we thought might as well go with Mike. Mike. <laughs> and you all were together from then, you were friends? We were we friends from year, year one. one. Ah, really? Are you so sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, uh, are you sure? <laughs> yes, we yeah. were. Yeah. So uh, over 35 years, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. The, the name Mike was formed is because Charit is called Malla at home and I see from Eric. So uh, M A I, -C. I C Mike. Right, right. <laughs> they took the end of your name. <laughs> 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 but if you were supposed to do with me, it'll be M A N U. Manu. No, Madik. Yeah. M A D I C Madik. That's really bad. <laughs> Ah, with you as well. He just, yeah. You are yeah. still at the he, end. He, yeah, he's still at are the you, he's still Are you trying to I'm cut me out? I'm just between the two of you. Ma. I feel it's <laughs> not even me mad. M A D. <laughs> That's it. No, there's... Uh, mad is not bad. Yeah, mad, mad, mad is not bad. Yeah, mad. Mad is... Without... <laughs> mad. No, there can't be a mad. Just, just want to be in putting me Madic. in a mad. <laughs> just want no. to be sandwiched by me. Uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, so let's, uh, let's come to uh, Mike. Y'all have done some amazing weddings. Y'all have even done concepts in reusing, recycling. Tell me about these. When did y'all professionally say, okay, listen, let's just do this? So we started Danu because we had two very good friends, uh, Shahar and Andrew, who we used to work with, Right. came up to us and said, guys, I don't even know why they chose us mm. as a team. Said, why don't you do our wedding? Uh, and that's how we started. It was a floral wedding, but we brought in little things to personalize. Right. We brought in the little jam jars and little notes about the couple and mm -hmm. things like that. And that obviously the we realized. The party poppers. Yeah, the party poppers that's and there. little things that caught on. There was a time, no, these jars were such a big thing. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Everyone that wanted exactly. to finish the uh, jam <laughs> soon. <laughs> like they're like, me make up gun. <laughs> <laughs> and Peta ran out yeah. of all the jam yeah. jars. Yeah. Exactly. Of course, we are responsible partly for this. Yeah. I have to accept yeah. it. Yeah. And we quite have still a few at home, at home yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a lot at but that's how it started. And then we thought, okay, we'll post it and see what people mm. say. And then we kept getting reactions and people like what we do. Right. And because we are both from the advertising it industry. Easier. Yeah. Yes. And we felt that there's a wide, in terms of ideas in, in yes. the industry. Yeah. Arranging flowers in different ways is something, okay, that's an art, but it has been done so much. Correct. Yeah. But conceptualizing Correct. and creating something unique only for that wedding Correct. is kind of cool. You all never reuse. Mm, no. Hardly because it's so personalized. Like we sit down with the couple, get to know how they, what they eat, what they like to watch in terms of movies. So it's very personalized, Dano. So it's really not easy to reuse it. Yeah, true. I mean, I'm, I'm, you've been to so many weddings. Today, if you take the couple out, everything else is the same, correct? correct? So we felt that there is a void in the market to bring something else. 
and, and personalize it. It's all about personalizing, as Charit said, because it's about your day. It's not somebody else's day. So Correct. we are celebrating the couple. Mm. So people need to know, friends need to know, family needs to know about them. So, and you know, it's sometime like r very recent, like about two weeks ago, we did a wedding in Digana uh, at the golf club. And there, um, everything was personalized from the tablecloth to the decor. Everything was personalized because these people were Marvel, DC, uh, Game of Thrones, um, Harry, Potter. Harry Potter, uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, fans of all of that, the couple by themselves. So it's very hard to get, I mean, mm. when you get someone like that, so you make the maximum out of it. Mm. So from the tablecloth to the decor, everything was personalized. And it was a, actually, for us, it was a challenge also because with the current situation, you know, getting, yeah, getting things, things. Yeah. and stuff. We have to go everything. back to jam bottles now. <laughs> <laughs> even that's running out in yeah, the Yeah, even that's yeah. not there actually. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so getting things and that logistical, logistics were a bit of an issue. But it was fun because mm. at the end of it, it was f finally the output was just what we wanted and that was what Brilliant. Uh, let's get into a fun segment that we call Hot Seat. Welcome back to the show. This, you get a chance of winning this uh, amazing gift bag from Crystal Luxury Wellness. Yeah, you need it. Only one of us. Uh, yes. But we might feel sorry for Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having I a sprained neck? <laughs> no, I just like to be like that. I like, yeah, to, I like to be like... Like know, that real, like a neck brace kind of a look. No, I like, you know, I have to be like... Because you, royal just, look. you can't even turn, no. I can't turn. <laughs> I just, I'm having this full, you know, like, like the queen at this age. Yeah. That's how she turns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you call me, Harry. <laughs> just do it. It's the same thing, I'm Eric, just, at this age. I'm just being. <laughs> you call me, Charit. I can look above <laughs> just my. Just being the queen. Yeah. <laughs> just being the queen. All right. Let's start. Eric, I'm going to start with you, okay? Oh, God. Is it true that you're related to DSL and Aika if, if, you were, or if you are, what do you think he feels about this connection? Happy, he's great. If I am, yes, I am. I'm sure he will be happy too. Are you related to DSN and I? No, unfortunately not. I but you I told was. me that you are. <laughs> no. For the longest time. No. When did that come up? Sarita, I told you he's going to deny it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have told him apparently. Yeah. No. Because he's dead, everyone can say they're related <laughs> to him. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I'm not related. I'd love to be. I mean, I'm not. Too late now. Too late now. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> not all of them are there as well now. <laughs> Batting the right way. <laughs> if you had to pick the best city hotel from apart from Citrus Hotels, which hotel would you pick? Your options are Jetwing Colombo 7, Cinnamon Red, Movin Pick Colombo, Uga Residence. Cinnamon Red. Mm. Said it quickly. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite destination to be photographed in? KFC Australia, France <laughs> or Netherlands? France. <laughs> <laughs> because the KFC shoot was done. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I have to say, we have all been to KFC. <laughs> But nobody treasures it as much as Eric does. <laughs> There's a lot of story yeah, behind he it. He took no? a picture in front of KFC saying, KFC. <laughs> that was in Australia. But well done. My uncle's KFC. <laughs> That's worse now. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely finger licking good. <laughs> I don't know how to react to this now. <laughs> was it tasty? Yum, yeah. It was very good. Your uncle's KFC. Oh my God. Who do you envision wearing EW Black, which you are wearing right now? He's also a designer. It's not retailing anywhere. Uh, your options are Shiranti Rajpaksa, Queen of England, Pavitra Vanyarachi, uh, Nyanakka. Queen of England. Uh, that she can cover the brace with. <laughs> <laughs> Design. Describe Charit in one word. It's interesting. Meticulous? Spell meticulous. Oh my <laughs> god. 
please don't. No chance. Both, we are, no, no, neither of us are getting no, together. No, 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 no. I also can't spell. So even if you say, even if you say M-A-T, I would be like, oh, that's correct. That's I correct. would be matter yes. only. All right. Uh, Charit, to you. Describe Eric in one word. Oh, my God. Late. <laughs> yeah, okay. Late to come. <laughs> Late for everything. <laughs> Fashionably late for everything. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Quite. In the bridal industry, whose floral arrangements do you prefer, recommend as the best, according to you? Your options are Poru, Lassana Flora, Shiruhana. Uh, my answer changed last weekend. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so probably out of the three, uh, Shiruhana at the moment. Okay. If Mike was to do a decor at Temple Trees over Christmas, what theme would you use to send out a message? <laughs> no, no, it's all over Colombo now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's, that's going to be the message. But I, I don't think we will ever do anything at the Temple Trees. Okay. If kissing Eric would be the one thing that will keep you alive, <laughs> would you do it? <laughs> I'll die then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll decide I mean, to stay I, alive. I, not that I'm, I mean, I'll also die. <laughs> By the time that is where, over. where may be the, where may be the question? Live to live, live. Yeah, yeah, die, die, die. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> what would you fight for, given the options? Uh, legalizing homosexuality. Uh, Scrap the tax of sanitary napkins, active death penalty, pro-choice movement. Women have the legal right for a for a abortion if they have to. Legalizing homosexuality. Brilliant. Thank you. And I think I must say, Charit, you're the winner. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! All right, this is for you. Uh, check out Crystal, and I'm sure you love these products. We're going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's safe with us. In conversation with Charit, uh, Charit and Eric on date with Ranu, I said Charik. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You that's, just, an, that's an ex brand. That's yeah. an ex brand, Charik. Charik. <laughs> Actually, it's a nice brand. Yeah. Yeah. Accident. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dan. Um, <laughs> 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 it's how I try to say <laughs> Charit Block and Dino I said <laughs> I was watching this yesterday. I said <laughs> Dick and Boat <laughs> Actually said it now in the room I was like maybe we should get Dick and Bone And I was like oh no <laughs> Block and Dino <laughs> We know them because uh, Block is a feed, right? So I could just say that yeah. Dick and Bono sounds really <laughs> bad, right? I've been like twisting words up today. Uh, I don't know why. All right, so let's speak about um, your time in advertising. Um, advertising became so, at one time, just like, there was no creativity. Everyone just wanted it just point blank on the billboard. It's so easy. What made you all leave advertising? So personally for me, Danu, I... I always wanted to do something uh, on my own and when this came up mm. I felt there was more room to do creative work uh, comparing to the industry that I was in at the time. Mm. So that was the reason. Like you said, I think if you look at the past to now, we are, we are becoming a little more desperate as an industry so therefore we have to just do things to survive mm. in the ad industry especially. And we are so small and we are also fighting with each other all the time. Yeah. So we felt, I personally felt there was more room to do something a little more creative and adventurous if I moved out and started on my own. And you were able to take that risk? Correct. Like were you happy taking that risk knowing that you know I'm leaving a full time It was definitely job? a risk because I don't come from a family that has ever done or gone into a business on their own or anything. So it was always a risk and, but I had, uh, a very close friend, my guru Stefan, who always told me, Charit, you just need to go on your own and you need to start. And he kept pushing me. Uh, and finally, you took that 
I took the plunge and, and I'm so happy that I did it. I wish I did it long, long, time long, long, long time ago. But Eric, you never gave up on your full-time job. No, you didn't, didn't. trust Charity now? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, but now I am f focusing on this whole thing full-time. So you're leaving your job? Not leaving as of <laughs> now, <laughs> but yes, I am, but my, my goal is to, as, is to, because from like when we first asked me the first asked the question from Charit, um, I always wanted to do something of my own. Um, maybe I don't know even to do a small design or dress some you know design something with clay pot or whatever. I've always wanted to do something. Yeah, like do, do a painting on a clay pot or something. Right. I've always wanted to do something of my own. So I, in the long ago, in I think when I was in school, I used to do candles. I used to make candles and sell candles. Um, so I used to always want to do something. So and now actually clay stuff as well. Yeah. Used to. So now I now so I see you know, because there was a there is we've got into this and we see uh, an opportunity in it. And yes, I do want to. I mean, working is good, but it's always good to do your own thing. And um, and it isn't. It's not about doing your own thing because it's about uh, it's about a lot of. And it's not about just a business. It's a lot of fun that you have. So when you're doing your own thing, automatically I I my something I personally believe is if you do something you really love you it doesn't matter you don't think look at it or think of it as a job you just mm. it just comes within you so sometimes you come after work and then you want to, you have to sketch an idea but in your in your when you when you are really passionate about the job that you are doing and you love that idea and you want to get that you know want to see that idea in reality so you sketch it out you will do so sometimes i i am not tech savvy so i still do the traditional way of taking the pencil and sketching the yeah. idea out whereas then I send it to Charit and then he puts it on to uh, like a the more, more digital more space yeah Correct. exactly um, so yeah so you know so this you, I've always wanted to do something on my own and yeah so this is so this is what I am uh, do you think parents today allow their children to grow and find their own potential because I think we have all three of us have been lucky enough to have parents who have understood the fact that um, to answer that question, Danu, my parents were uh, very open-minded, but still they wanted me to have my basic education, so my uh, my O levels, A levels, and my I did a degree as well. So, but still they would want you to do either the job I really wanted to do, I couldn't do. A security-based job where you know yes. you are getting a salary. No, yeah, and correct. also sometimes not being a security. <laughs> I don't think I can do that job very <laughs> no, well. No, no, not at all. No. But I've always my, one of my dream jobs are to be a steward on an airline. Uh, <laughs> don't. Do <laughs> Why are you doing this? Just to carry that bag. <laughs> no, ah, I right. just I just love because I I love traveling. I like to see different. But isn't countries. there a height requirement? <laughs> I think I'm I'm that height. Really? Yeah. I, I think you should not be able to reach the cockpit. You should be able to reach the <laughs> things on top. <laughs> I'm tall enough to reach the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. So, um, yeah, so, but I didn't, I was not, my parents didn't like me to get into that job. Mm -hmm. um, so then when I did my I can degree, relate to you on that. I also wanted to be a Victoria's Secret model, but my parents didn't support me there. But maybe parents today are a little more open-minded. Yes, that and also during our time, we had only a few fixed professions, yeah. correct? We all know what those yeah. three uh, Maybe in your time, doc. because I'm yeah. like five years younger than them. Yeah, correct. <laughs> 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 yes, Dano is younger yeah, to yeah. us. Much younger to us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, to be very fair, I have seen, I have, uh, so how I got to know them is because uh, I was not smart enough to continue A levels at school. So I had to leave after all of us. But uh, we ended up doing a lot of theatre because when others had time in hand, uh, my batchmates didn't, so you guys had the time. So we sort of all merged at one point, and they, I think they are, I called them my school friends and not my own batchmates. Uh, although you all just forget to include me on things. But <laughs> the, <laughs> just one, just <laughs> one recently yeah, done. Just, just, just one. I wanted yeah. to just make sure that it's that felt. That was, that it's was, felt. yeah. It was Which felt. one was this? The roast. Uh, uh, uh. No personal conversations here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I was just thinking when you all went on this creative path, was it easy and especially getting into advertising was a trend, but at the same time they're like, what is this job advertising men? Actually, I didn't know what advertising was, mm. but like mm. you said, theatre is what really started the journey. Yeah. Because 
we had to make props, yeah. mm. uh, little circlets and costume and all kinds of stuff. Eric and I got involved in yeah, during Shakespeare. True. And then... And with uh, nothing, we have to do amazing things. Exactly, yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. So this is where we started, the sports meet, doing the house. Yeah. Uh, so especially theater got us involved in prop making and things like that. And our drama directors always kept telling us, you know, you need to get into advertising. So I kept telling everyone, oh, I, I want to get into advertising. And you didn't even know what it I meant. I didn't know, yeah. yeah. And people were like, what cool. do you want to do? In <laughs> I'm like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> I want to get into advertising. But yeah. somehow... Then somebody told me to do a graphics course and then, you know, you get into it and then here we are. Hmm. I, of course, stumbled into it, <coughs> stumbled into it by mistake because I didn't know again what it was. And um, I went in for an interview after my degree and then it was an advertising agency, which I didn't have a clue of what it was. But then, yeah. I mean, Did you I go for a steward interview? <laughs> no, I didn't. I was not. I was. I was not allowed to do go pursue that dream. Um, but I. I. But I, to answer the ne question which you said about parents now, because this current generation, I think the parents are more, more open, open to to things. giving the opportunity. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. even if you, you know, so because sometimes it, it keeps you. I mean, for example, I I love to do certain things, but you know, for example, even fashion was one of my things. But I would not dare ask my parents if I want to get into that line. But now I am. Mm. Um, and they are very supportive now. They say, yeah, it looks nice and all that. But, you know, because then I guess in some, they know that I have something to fall back on yeah. in terms of education. This is actually an EW Black original. If you are in the mood to buy it, you can always <laughs> write to Eric and he'll get it for you. All right, let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. We have to talk about some more fun, cool things when we do come back. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Eric, you you got into like mass publicity with uh, two of your music videos coming out with Ashanti. How was it? It was fun. It was it was really fun. Do you watch it still? <laughs> no, I don't. Of course. <laughs> no, I don't. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I, I mean, yes, I you do. No, I don't. I'm At every month. birthday party, do you play it? Ashi will be very happy. He was not the Alavanti. <laughs> Just, uh, how was the experience? Amazing. And I'm very grateful to Ashanti and Nandi for giving me that chance. And um, it was uh, something I've not always... Not one, you did two. Yeah. And... Um, but for the characters that you played. <laughs> So one was a paparazzi guy, uh. and the other guy was a... Uh, paparazzi is not the correct word. No, you were a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I would say, yeah, stalker. And the other guy was, uh, the other character was a police officer. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Oh, really? He was a cop, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lots of things has changed from there because <laughs> Alavanthiya was chula, uh, chula, and he was the paparazzi. <laughs> things have really changed from that day to today. <laughs> From school time to where you are today, do you think whatever we learnt in school makes sense? No, Danu, I actually <laughs> wish. <laughs> now, I, I met the best of friends yeah. that, that include you, actually. And you know that we've been friends, the, yeah. our clique has been so close. Other than that, I wish I actually got into Mike and started this journey way before. Yeah. I know everyone loves school days and all of that. I, I, I'm i not one of them. Yeah, yeah. I never I never died to go back to school. No, Were you bullied I in have school? nightmares. Yeah. Were you bullied in school? No. But no. you had a good set of friends around you. Correct. Eric? Yes. Uh, bullied, yes, I was because um, I tend to have a bit of effeminate way of doing things mm. and walking. So that I remember you bringing and showing me your air tickets that you were flying out of the country. Do you remember that time that Eric went through that phase? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is why he then wanted to work for the Allies. <laughs> yes, yes. 
but uh, yes, I was there was a bit of bullying, but then that, I guess that happens, I guess. And I, I have you I have you been able to like people who personally attacked you, like you know they were vicious enough to like break you emotionally. Have you been able to forgive them? Of course, there's a very good friend of mine uh, of ours who, when we were back in school, he used to not like me that much. But now he's a very good friend, a dear dear friend now, um, and I think he's changed over time. But yeah, I have. I mean, I have just, I mean, there's one incident where I came face to face with him and he had to, he was with a bunch of other guys and I was alone and then he, you know, said certain things to me and uh, kept on repeating the same thing. So I just ignored it. But now he's a very good friend. And I think, you know, those are things that we do. I mean, I mean, I just let go and yeah, and like you said, I let go and I just completely, now we are friends for me to be, I mean, that was a, but I will, I won't forget it, but I remember the whole thing, but now I'm just, I'm not holding any grudges on it, not, not at all. Uh, with Eric, we have all had some fun incidents. Uh, so Eric is related to uh, Citrus Hotels, he's looking into the marketing of uh, the hotel. Uh, and once I had to do an article for him and he looked at this chair and said the Queen sat on it. And I was like, wow, the Queen sat on this chair? Yeah, it, it really dates back way back in time during our independence. It was, I was like, wow, really? And I said, was, was she here in Sri Lanka for the independence? Yes, you see the picture? I was like, so I also got my history confused. I'm like, was she here? I thought she, was she? So I was utterly confused. Made me believe that the Queen sat on this chair and I wrote it in black and white. It was <laughs> printed and published on the newspapers. Then I had an <laughs> outbreak, a protest on Facebook. The Queen was never here. How did she sit on this chair? You see, it was some other person, <laughs> some person who has come from the Buckingham Palace. Correct. But for some odd reason, Eric was under the impression that was the Queen. <laughs> Have you that changed was a bit, it? No, it was a bit of a, it was a mistake. That's something that I was also told, so which I thought. <laughs> and but now, what have you done to the chair? It's not valued at the same it's amount. Still there. <laughs> Queen didn't it's sit on it, but yeah, <laughs> it was there. It, it, it's still there. Yeah, yeah. It's still there. Yeah, but were you, uh, because you had it on the website as well. <laughs> that the, was my mistake. Yeah, I'm the sorry. amount of people would have taken a picture and said, the Queen sat on it, the Queen sat on it. They're like, oh, the Queen didn't sit on it. You could have mentioned your uh, grand uncle seated on it. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Dear and I. No, no, he's not my <laughs> any relation of mine. We're going to get into a game called Yes or No. Welcome back to the show. So these are some questions that we might take lightly, thinking, eh, what are these? But this really portrays a person's real personality. Ready? Hmm. All right, your question number one. Can you live a day without your mobile phone? Can you share your toothbrush with your partner? E, e, no. The things that you... <laughs> <laughs> nothing has seen. <laughs> um, have you ever stared at yourself in the mirror and admired the looks for more than 10 minutes? More than 10 minutes? No. <laughs> Yes, he, of course I yeah. do it. Every day. Huh? Every you day. have 10 minutes every day to just look at yourself and I day? have more than 10 minutes. I have hours sometimes to look at the mirror. This is and why look he's at late. <laughs> I mean, you have to Finally. look at the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> what you see is a different story, but you imagine what you look like, you know, you look good. And yeah. Currently, are you doing something that you love? Thanks. And I want to check whether you all like being on my show. Do you still think of the people that hurt you in the past? Do you notice things that are bad in yourself? Can you swap your bedtime routine with your morning routine and still be okay with it? No. What time do you sleep, Charlie? Odd times when 10, 12, 1. Okay. Can no. you trust someone with your life? Who? Friends. Friends. I can trust him. Can you stay for a week without talking to anyone? Oh my God, no. Not even five minutes. <laughs> 
Do you like to gossip about co-workers? No. Ani, here. I Please. Don't. Please. We gossip was it. named after you. It's we were, Eric Gossip. We were doing it just before the show started. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just sharing information. Information, yeah. Have you ever sent a nude picture of yourself to someone? We're going to speak more about it because uh, <laughs> private <laughs> genital areas are not private when it comes to Eric. They're the most public property that he owns. <laughs> no, it has no. been viewed by so many people. It's on people's WhatsApp. It's on their... Sometimes no. it's even made their screensaver. We're going to talk more about it. It's one thing to admire yourself 10 minutes every day in front of the mirror, but it's another thing to photograph it and send it to people. So speak more when we do that. And welcome back. So I wanted to just conclude that topic before we move on to anything else. So Charit, I just want to know, it's called private parts for a reason. Correct. But you have made it such a public, uh, public parts, right? A part yeah. of your body. How many people have seen your genitals? Eric? I don't know. <laughs> did you once send your genital pictures to a girl? And when she asked, why <laughs> did you send this to me? You said that I'm, I thought I was sending it to Charit. I'm like, thank you. I didn't know your no, private parts looked like my face. <laughs> Just to correct things, uh -huh. but it was a picture of Charit in Teta <laughs> that I was trying to send and by mistake sent something else. How can it? But it, did you take a picture of your genitals soon after no. you took a picture of Charit? I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm in the spot now. So in terms of... The, 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 the cloud that uh, stores a lot of uh, <laughs> memory and images, it's going to have a lot of... It doesn't have any of Mixed those. with my face. <laughs> charit? <laughs> genital? Charit? Gen genital? Genital? No. Charit? <laughs> oh my God, no. Can we move on? No, I just wanted to know. Uh, also, what do you do with an iron? <laughs> iron clothes? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. I iron clothes. Yeah, but have you tried to do something else with a nothing, cold nothing. iron? Or do you keep it hot on your genitals? <laughs> nothing of the sort. It was just to iron the... I guess I have a crust. question. You have a sister and a mother at home. Are they using that iron after that to iron their clothes? <laughs> You've done your research, <laughs> Oh, my God. Are they? It was just to iron my clothes that I used it that, that time while dressed in that outfit, I had to just make sure the crease was not there. So that is why I used iron. What? That iron is now anyway disposed. <laughs> 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 I really don't know how to, <laughs> to react to this. But I, I can't imagine that it has had such publicity. And now we are speaking about it on TV. <laughs> So the rest of the world will remember me for that. <laughs> yeah, and also that picture with KFC. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get into a segment that we call Dish the Dirt. I want to start with you, Charit, for this. Um, I want to know, as someone who is living in Sri Lanka, living your personal life, is it hard? Very much, Danu. Uh, it was harder, I would say, but I do, I do travel a lot, a lot, and I do. That's this your passion. No? That's my passion. Actually, that's the ultimate thing I want to do. So there, I find my freedom uh, yeah, to express, be yourself. Correct. Yeah. And I Why love. Why is it such a taboo, even in 2020, to be openly gay? Well, I think we are changing. The younger generation is is changing, their viewpoints are different. But I still think there is a generation that is not familiar with the concept. Uh, so until that generation is alive, unfortunately, we are going to have this issue. What's the worst thing that you have had to live through because of this? Are there people who have like boycotted your work or said things which have been... Not boycotted my work but you spoke about bullying earlier this actually happened to me much later in my life during my work life i had someone who sent a very personal private email of mine to the rest of the office so cyber bullying at another level uh, 
so it was tough, but it was also something that really gave me <coughs> uh, the opportunity to sort of learn how to deal with situations like this. Because it was embarrassing, because it was very personal, it was very private, but suddenly it was... Everyone knew about everyone it. Everyone, your colleagues knew about yeah. it, not your friends. And you know, everyone so will react with a laugh first. Correct, correct. Yeah. And and although they will not realize that is your yeah. life. But I think in a way I'm thankful to that situation, you learn because something. I learned to de deal with situations like uh, that. Are there hypocrites who actually say, oh my God, he's gay, and then are the ones who will message you, so many, da, da, no, so many, including some of the former leaders that we've had in this country. Oh, you would have you had know? such a good life. Hip hypocrites <laughs> to, I don't know what level, right? Really? I mean, we there's so much we can do. Us, we would have all been exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think even the media has a huge role to play. You see media playing different roles through different mediums, you know. One of your um, outlets may say one thing, but the other one says something Another, else. Yeah. And I think this is where we can change. But, but I'm really happy to know that today you watch a teledrama, you watch local TV, mm -hmm. people included. are bringing this, yeah, it's, it's inclusive, it's, it's becoming inclusive. And, and I think that's the way to go. Because finally, I mean, I'm sorry to say this, but in, in the religion that I believe, and we, we claim to be a Buddhist country, right? Where is, where, where is it said that it's against Buddhism to mm -hmm. begin with? So where is this culture coming from? What is this culture we are talking about? Culture is something that continues to change. True. You know? Eric, how was it for you? Or how is it for you? Um, because you take things lightly, at least in a public surrounding. You laugh about it. Yeah, I just joke laugh about, about, it. about it. I joke yeah, about but how, it. But what is happening deep down? How do you feel inside? Um, I don't think too much about it. I don't uh, give too much about it. and and. Um, I think the I think the world is changing now, and the younger generation is more open to things, and they are more understanding, and they they look at things in a different way, and, and they they are I mean it, it's happening it's slowly, but it's happening. So I I take it um, I don't think about it too much, and I think that also helps me because I the thing is with me I I'm a person who as I said I'm I'm this fun loving person I enjoy so even sometimes I I things have to do I have to do things by myself or whatever I just I just enjoy it mm. I just I don't go to think too much about it uh, because overthinking about it or something sometimes just get drags things and yeah and then you get into this sudden you get into a shell and that creates a bit of a problem and then mm. you know unwanted things so I, I do tend to sometimes overthink on certain things um, that's where I have, I have are have you a naughty boy all of us are naughty no <laughs> I mean I'm a, I'm a naughty boy, but I'm naughty in senses, naughty and nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you go jogging every day, I'm told. I yes, I yeah. used to do it. Why? Um, because I apart I'm from losing weight, was there any other reason? No, just be, be, purely because I I was a person. Who I, I I I was I was the I won't grounds say. have seen other things. I'm told. <laughs> <No>. I was um, <coughs> I was a, I'm I'm still a little big. Uh, I've all idea. Uh, my ideal structure would love to be a very skinny person, but I don't think I can achieve that because also I love my food. Um, but you got there. You nearly had a near-death experience. Yeah, we all thought you're dead. And yeah, but so then I, and and but again, I I bounce back, and yeah. that is what I. True. Uh, let's speak about your near-death experience. What were you? What what did you have? You had an infection. So I had pneumonia. Okay, and then you were just completely and. Charitra was there throughout this process. Yeah, so Charitra and my sister were the ones who were there with me and they, they supported me and all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was not easy. That's why I always tell people to be a little careful with even just, you know, it, it's, you, you don't need to, uh, it was just a simple cold which I just ignored, ignored. And I used to have late night body washers, baths in the night, cold water body washers. So you had to be a little careful with those things. And then how, when doctors were sort of worrying about you, what were your thoughts? Um, because you were like half your size. We only saw your eyes and your teeth. Yeah. So yeah. So I was. I was. I didn't think. Again, I said. Like I said, I didn't. I didn't think too much about it. Um, I I went about with it. I mean, I thought, okay, I'll be definite. And I think I am also very religious. Mm. I am very. Uh, I do. I, I. That is what helped me a lot. Um, and I think I got more closer to God than what I was. I don't think he'll want you anytime soon. <laughs> the funniest thing was now all, all the friends, mothers, yeah. and everyone used to call me and 
check tell on. me no uh, yeah also tell me tell him god is with yeah, him and yeah. you know so i used to go to the icu and stand next to him and Mentally talk about god and he's looking at and me I'm like what the hell has happened I'm to you i'm thinking like you know what has happened to you <laughs> you're like this other person but again i thought okay fine i was actually was happy thinking oh my god but i god think that's one thing that got him out god of it, yeah. uh, that god is uh, actually yeah. He's very God has worked his magic on him True. because heaven is not ready for you, Eric. <laughs> it sure is not. They need to first come to terms with everyone else there and tell them, please make way. We have something big coming. coming. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm happy that you're alive. But you know, Thanks. sometimes we take things for granted. No, Correct. yes. A simple we cough can really go out. Yes. And you really did see the end of your life. Yeah, and I so that actually that gave me. Um, I actually started looking. See, I used to take for granted, like you said, time. I used to take for granted everything. But once you, once that whole thing happened to me, I realized that you know you are given some this pressure. Even even this little oxygen that we are breathing now, mm -hmm. you know, when you don't have, when you can't breathe, it, when you can't. I mean, it's very hard to breathe. You know the value of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. my point is, make the maximum of every minute you have. Don't worry about what other people. And and we shouldn't worry about other people. people and we shouldn't worry you know we shouldn't be i think we should just each of us if we start doing our own thing to make sure that you know we just make ourselves a better person automatically everything will fall into place brilliant uh we're getting to a break we'll see you on the other side do stick around when we do come back did some digging on social media we will look at those pictures And so we did some digging, and we found some photographs. Mm. <laughs> When was this? Where was this? In Australia, my first Pride parade. And in Sydney, I think. I've never seen. Well, obviously, it was a. You had a bosom time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome uh, bosom. Yes, time. Awesome bosom. I must say, I called Eric and asked about you. He said he's very anal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he meant to say. You don't know how to take it. Yeah, okay. I didn't. I was like, I meant it as you know. He's I think I'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> you are very anal. <laughs> are you also <laughs> using the word meticulous? Yeah. <laughs> meticulous. Yeah. Anal. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> mm. Yeah. That was at a shoot. Yeah. And, uh, and what were you doing? So I was handling the brand, okay. and so I was. I got the opportunity to take a picture with him. So and what did he say? Nothing. So I just can I just take a picture? And he said, Yes, sure. I'm just very honoured. Yeah, we saw a lot of it. No, how many times did we get it? <laughs> <laughs> so now, when you go to different countries, do you stand in front of buildings? <laughs> Why is this? So that was where I can't, actually I can't remember where was this picture taken. Yeah, you wanted like just sensor. yeah the con so I just took it yeah so I just I like to take pictures of the buildings <laughs> like if you have come to Sri Lanka you would have said this is Cinnamon Grand yeah I would have I I like taking pictures like that of the building just the building names I mean yeah just to like you know yeah these are some of your friends <laughs> yes our click our <laughs> darling no, darling yes. click yes that's not all are here though yeah yeah few are all missing are here, there yeah. um so that's all of them there. You are there. Yes. Uh, Charit, I I just want to know why is this? Oh my God! On I've your never profile. seen this picture. Ah, uh, this was the, was this, there a this huge? This is not yours. No, this is certainly not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not that fair. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But whose is it? Uh, you know, there was this whole huge issue, right? Yeah. With Pidurangala and correct. This, yeah. But I want to know, were you there at that time? I wish I wasn't, though. You. <laughs> But I thought I saw a picture of you with it as well. Ah, yeah, I was there, but not at the same time. All oh, right, right. <laughs> uh, please tell me about this picture. You should actually do a travel show. Yeah, so that was yeah. the last day True. I before I the actual last hour before I left Paris. I was coming back to Sri Lanka. We did well, went so to the Louvre. So you didn't get to the airport like three hours before. No, so we it was a, quite a distance oh. from Paris to the airport. I don't know how it's about one and a half hours. So I think. But this was at the at the Louvre, so I just wanted to show that I you was. You have been there. You <laughs> never, I, yeah. you know, it. Oh, that mm. was. Who is that? <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 
why? And this is a lot of foil you have used. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that was at home. Yeah, so what is this? For what? That was a, actually a Christmas party. We had a, yeah. Uh, Mid Gala theme. Christmas oh, right, party. Right. Heavenly bodies theme. Yeah. Oh. Since we didn't have the bodies, yeah. we had to <laughs> It just went heavenly. Tell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> so that was <laughs> that was at a that was at a friend's birthday party. Where's supposed, your friend? I was supposed to surprise her. I mean, like that? that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's not like that for your yes, show, Dan. Oh my yeah. God! Does E W Black do any clothes with buttons? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, that. Yes. Uh, oh my God! That was at um, that was at Aurudu last year at my cousin's place, and we were blowing. It was the balloon competition. Yeah, but, uh, the point is, there are other competitions as well, no? <laughs> yeah, but that was the only one I could have won. <laughs> I could have blown a balloon and taken a selfie at the same time. <laughs> Practice oh makes perfect. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know where this is going. <laughs> Blowing and taking a picture is a hard task, anyway. <laughs> Charitha, I really like this look. I think ah, you need yes. to come back to this. Difficult to maintain, but why? yes. Why? So my hair, when it grows, it becomes curly. So why don't you just grow it? Yeah, I know. I should. Yeah, I you like look younger. That. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Thanks. I'm just worried about the neck. Oh my God, that's my first birthday. So that was my what my pair, grandparents gave me. You were relatively fair, dear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or you use a lot of makeup at that time. So my grandparents gave me. A, I used to love my grandfather's briefcase, so I got a suitcase. So I still have that as well. He wanted to travel since then. Then, yeah. Amazing. I, I. That's a lovely picture. Yeah. Here is the picture that we all wanted to oh. show. <laughs> See, that's. I was very proud of my uncle because he owns a few KFC outlets in Aussie. Not a few, at least about. 25 to 30 in Aussie and so this is one of his outlets yet I took a picture so I was very proud of my uncle who Sri Lankan citizen who went to Aussie and now he's not a citizen now he's not a citizen yeah. anymore but yeah and yeah he's done well for, he's done very very well Charit tell me what <laughs> is the future for Mike you're kicking Eric out <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be ma. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to say we have some magic yeah. plan. plan. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I think. What the hell? I mean, how? I think how you'll you'll know what we mean uh, by magic. By magic in a couple of days. Oh my God, Charit, is <laughs> Eric is going to disappear. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, but there is an addition, obviously. Yeah. Oh, there's a third person coming. Yeah. So it's Mike Magic. So it, no, it's magic. So it's M A. There is an I C and the J is coming in the middle. Ah, oh, Mike is becoming magic. Yes. Oh, amazing. All right, brilliant. I'm going to just. I'm going to wait. The letter J. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 dear Lord, not that. No, Jay. I just wanted to know. Uh, anyway, um, brilliant having the two of you on the show. I'm so happy that, uh, you know, that we have a platform to speak to people who are doing not what everyone expects people to do, but creating their own place, finding ways of making it unique. Uh, you guys have put out some amazing work. If you have not checked it out, please do. Uh, it's actually a piece of art, every single thing that they craft. Uh, and it's, that's what you call memory, you know, it's not about just, sometimes you all have done weddings with not even one single flower, yeah. um, and those make it so much more cooler and so much more nicer. I'm so happy that I, I can call you all a friend and also um, someone who has done some, something interesting to the society. Uh, thank you for being here. Thanks, Charit. Thank you for having pleasure. us, Dano. Thank yeah. you very thank much. Thank you so much for having us. It no. was definitely a pleasure and enjoyed a lovely time being with yeah. you. Now, of course, you can play this as well, not only Ashanti's music videos. <laughs> <laughs> just before we wrap things up, I wanted to just quickly tell you, once we were acting in a play and oh Eric was also God. part of it, we were given some time out. Did I tell you this? No. Where we had to no. rest and just recuperate and like, you know, get our energy back flowing. Uh, but of course, Charit went for some, um, what can I say? Uh, he has gone for some kind of um, uh, pleasure giving uh, uh, kind of a way of relaxing and then he arrived at the 
uh, rehearsal again and then i was i was just relaxing with some music charit or eric eric, eric. eric yeah. i was just relaxing with some music on the floor uh, of lionel went stage then eric was like oh can i play a song so now i was just listening to these music videos with the screen put down so that people don't need to see what i'm listening to but then he played um hantane and put the screen out in open so those little small people are <laughs> like aya me oyad and then for him to recreate his uh, fame oh my god uh, and it happened for you can you say no no i can't say no but i didn't do it in in that purpose i just put it because it was going on in your screens and you were listening both of us were listening to the to the but same song but why would you want to listen to hantani again eric <laughs> no it's a nice song it's a catchy song it it it, it it's it's a nothing I mean, to do with the nothing to do with yeah. you being on the yeah. music video no. nothing <laughs> if i was only listening to audio he would have not cared what i was listening to yeah. but anyway well done <laughs> now you have this after this anybody comes home play this <laughs> i want a million views for this show <laughs> you might get to really on that note we are wrapping things up thank you for being with us on date with danu it's a wrap take care and god bless